Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I decided to film something a little different. You know, it's been a while since I put heat to my tresses. So I'm gonna blow out my hair with you guys and show you guys how I retain my maximum length with blow drying and literally get it silky smooth to the point that when I straighten, I only need to go through it one pass. You heard me, one pass. So if you guys wanna see how I achieve my blow out, then stay tuned. We're gonna start off with freshly cleaned hair. When it's time for me to blow dry my hair, I always cleanse with a deep cleanser. I don't use any moisturizing shampoos because I don't want my hair to be weighed down. After cleansing my hair, I then follow up with a mask. I left my mask in overnight because I ain't got nowhere else to go. I just finished rinsing out my mask and now I am ready to blow my hair out. So uh, I only use one product, you heard me, one product when blowing out my hair. The Icy Fantasia Thermal Heat Protectant. This is the bee's knees. I literally love this for blowing out and straightening my hair and it's literally the only product I need. So let's get started. So the first thing to maximize how straight your hair is gonna get is making sure that your hair is dripping wet. I literally only like patted it dry with my t-shirt but it is still dripping wet as you can see and that is going to help with us getting our hair bone straight so to make sure that those areas stay dripping wet i'm going to use a shower cap so to start off i'm going to start off by sectioning my hair into multiple smaller sections so that i can work on them individually instead of just ripping through my hair and blowing it out like that no don't do that start by sectioning it down the middle While I'm working on this section, I'm going to put my shower cap back on just to make sure that these sections stay wet. Now that we look crazy, it's time to blow out our hair. So I'm gonna start off with my heat protectant about that much per section, not a lot. And I'm gonna use prayer hand method to help really distribute that product throughout my hair. Okay, now I'm gonna go in with my comb and just detangle. So to dry my hair, I'm going to put it on the medium heat setting. So put it on two, and I'm gonna put the heat on high. To start off with blow drying, I always work on the roots first. You're gonna hold your hair nice and taut, and you're gonna hit the with the blow dryer attachment nozzle, and you wanna keep your blow dryer facing the same direction so that your cuticles are laying down and your hair is not like a frizzy mess. And you'll see what I mean by that in a minute. As you can see, my roots are very blown out. So now it's time to go in with a hairbrush. And now you can see this section is fully blow dried and it is straight, honey. Uh, Right, honey. So now we're gonna go ahead and repeat those same steps all throughout my hair.
you can see, my hair is straight. That is what you want when you blow out your hair and you're about to straighten your hair. You want the blowout to be straight. Your strain is only as good as your blowout. drying your hair out correctly is if you pull it up and it just falls down like that use when a good job sis use when a real good job By the time I get to the last section, it's kind of drying out from the water. So you do want to go ahead and redamp any sections like that. Because the more wet your hair is, the straighter it's going to get. It's like if you put a shirt to dry in the dryer that is already dry, the dryer is not going to help it. But if you throw the water on it, you're going to get a pressed out shirt. And that's just science. A little more serum. Get it on your edges. And pray your hand it in. When you do your prayer hand, you can see that it is touching every strand there. That's what you want. Comb it out. Hold it nice and taut.
that concludes how I get my silky straight blowout. Like I could literally wear my hair like this. And who gonna check me? Nobody. As you can see, my roots are flat and that's what you want. My hair isn't frizzy. The cuticles are relaxed. If you look right here where this white is, if I didn't blow dry correctly, you would see a whole bunch of little frizzy sticking up. I don't have that. So that's how you know that you blow dried it correctly. And that concludes this video. If you enjoyed this video, please leave a comment down below. Let me know what heat protecting serums you like to use when it comes to blow drying your hair out. And if you wanna see how I trim my hair, then make sure you subscribe to my channel and stay tuned for the next video where I will be doing my own and teaching you guys how to do your own trims at home. Be sure to thumbs up this video if you like content like this and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.